In section 4.2, we will talk about the mean and expected value of a discrete random variable. The mean or the average value of a discrete random variable is calculated using the following formula. The mean or the expected value is the sum of each value times the probability of that value. This looks like a scary formula, but we can simplify it as such. Let's say our first value is x1, and the probability of that is probability of x1. We would multiply this by the second value times the probability of the second value, and so on and so forth until we've exhausted each value. The expected value, or the mean value in the long run for many repeated samples, symbolizes, is symbolized as e of x, which is the expected value of x. The keyword here for expected value is it's the mean value in the long run for many repeated samples. Here's an example. A census was conducted at a, at a university. All students were asked how many tattoos they had. We saw this in the previous section. Find the mean number of tattoos per student. So the mean of a mean value of a discrete random variable is given by the value, the numerical value, times its probability, which is 0 times 0 0.850 plus 1 times 0 0.120 plus 2 times 0 0.015, plus 3 times 0 0.010, plus 4 times 0 0.005. If you add all these up, you would get 0.2. Here's the interpretation of this. Over time, the mean number of tattoos will be 0.2 per student which doesn't really make sense. A student can't get 0.2 of a tattoo, but this is just kind of an idea um, that more students will not have a tattoo than will because the mean is so low. So this represents that over time, the mean number of tattoos will be 0.2. Let's look at another example. Let's find the expected value for this random variable. Well, expected value is the numerical value times the probability plus second numerical value times its probability plus the third numerical value times its probability. So the mean or the expected value is equal to 19. In a game, you have 1 36th of a probability of winning $85 and 35 36 of a probability of losing $4. What is the expected value? Now remember, the expected value is the numerical value times the probability of that numerical value. In this case, we have two different scenarios. You either win or you lose, plus the numerical value times the probability of that numerical value. So let's split this up into two different cases. In the first case, you win. And in the second case, you lose. If you win, how much do you win? You win $85. And what is the probability of this? The probability of this is 1 over 36. If you lose, you lose $4. So since we're going to lose, I'm going to write that as negative $4. And what's the probability of losing? It's 35 over 36. So we have the probability of winning 
is 1 over 36. And if you win, you win $85. The probability of losing is 35 over 36. And if you lose, you lose $4. The expected value is your net gain, which is $85, times the, the probability, which is 1 over 36, plus your net loss, which is negative $4, times the probability of losing, which is 35 over 36. If you multiply 85 times 1 over 36 plus negative 4 times 35 over 36, uh, the answer is negative 1.528. So over time, the interpretation of this is that over time, a player will lose $1.53 per turn. Here's another example. You buy a scratcher ticket for $2. Now, once you spend that $2, that $2 is gone, whether you win or you lose. So that's something important to keep in mind. The probability of winning is 1 over 49. If you have a winning ticket, you will win $100. What is the expected value? Interpret the results. So let's ask ourselves two questions. If you win, what is your net gain? And if you lose, what is your net loss? So let's break this up into two different cases. Case one, we win. And case two, we lose. Our net gain in each case is given by how much money do you win plus how much do you, money do you lose? And that gives you your net. OK, so let's take the first scenario. Let's say you buy the, the, the lottery ticket for $2. As soon as you buy the lottery ticket for $2, you've lost $2, regardless of whether you win or lose. Now, how much do you win? You win $100. So what is your net? Even if you win the lottery, you're not going to win $100 because you spent $2 to buy that ticket. So your winnings are only $98. Okay, now let's say you lose. If you lose, how much are you gaining? Well, if you lose, you've gained nothing. So your gains are going to be $0. How much have you lost? Well, your loss is $2 because you spent $2 to buy that ticket. So your net is negative $2. So again, if you win, you win $100, but you spend two of that to buy the ticket, so you're only winning 98 If you lose, you lo you're not gaining anything, but you lost the $2, so your net loss is $2 if you, if you don't have a winning ticket. Okay, let's um, write this as a probability distribution. The net gain if you win is $98, and what is the probability of winning? It's 1 over 49. What is your net loss if you lose? Your net loss is negative $2. And the probability of that, well, if the probability of winning is 1 over 49, then the probability of losing must be 48 over 49. Because remember, the probabilities have to add up to 1. OK, so if you your probability of winning is 1 over 49, then your probability of losing is 1 minus that, which is 48 over 49. The expected value is your net gain, which is $98, times the probability of winning, plus your net loss, which is negative 2, times the probability of winning, which is 48 over 49. If you multiply this, you multiply this, add them together, um, then your answer is going to be 0 0.04. Now, because it's positive, then over time, you will actually win some money. It may not be the first time or the second time, but if you play this a thousand times, then on average, you will win four cents for each ticket that you buy. So its interpretation is that over time, over time, a player will win
four cents per ticket. And again, the, your first 10 tickets might be losses, but if you keep doing this over and over and over again, you played a thousand times, then in the long run, a player win will four cents per ticket. A life insurance company uh, policy costs twelve thousand to cover twelve thousand dollars to cover you for twenty five years. If you die within twenty five years, the company will pay two hundred thousand dollars to your beneficiary. If the insurance company calculates you have a 0.4 percent chance of dying in the next twenty five years, what is your expected profit? So once again, let's take a look at the net gain to the insurance company and the net loss to the insurance company. So let's break this up as um okay so let's break this up in two cases case one is you die well not you let's say someone case one someone dies and in the second case that person lives it's a very morbid example okay now what what's the net the net is always the gain plus the loss that gives you your net gain plus loss is your net okay so let's say that you die how much has the insurance company gained? Well, the policy costs $12,000. So whatever happens, whether you live or you die, um, they still have $12,000. Now, how much is their loss? Well, if a person dies, they have to pay $200,000. So their loss is their loss is negative $200,000. So if a person dies, they get they got twelve thousand dollars from a person for the policy, but then they had to pay out two hundred thousand dollars to their beneficiary. So the net here is twelve thousand minus two hundred thousand, which is going to be negative one hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars. That's how much the insurance company is losing. Now let's say that a person lives. So what happens then? Their gain is twelve thousand dollars. Now because this person lived. They did not have to pay anything, so they're not losing anything. And that's what the insurance company is counting on, that most people are going to live for the duration of that policy. So their net gain is going to be $12,000. Okay, let's make a probability distribution. If someone dies, the insurance company is out $188,000. They're not out the, the full 200000 because they still got $12,000 for the policy. What is the probability? It's 0.4%. So in decimal form, this is going to be 0 0.004. What happens if the person lives, which is most likely what's going to happen? Well, then that person paid them $12,000 for the insurance policy, and then the insurance policy never had to pay anything out. Okay, let's think about it this way. If you have a 0 0.004 probability of dying, then the probability of living is going to be 1 minus 0 0.004, which is going to be 0 0.996. So the expected value for the, uh, the insurance company is going to be negative 188,000 times 0 0.04, plus 12,000 times 0.996, the value times the probability. And the expected value um, for this insurance company is going to be $11,000, $11,200. So the expected profit per person is $11,200. Per person on average. Okay, try the next one uh, by yourselves and we will go over this example in class.